Let's look now at BPD Zenith's Query Manager tool. This is an administrative tool to allow an admin user the ability to modify queries which have been created by any users in Maximo. The admin user will be able to set a user query as public or private, modify the SQL, and change the query description. This application is very useful for managing all queries in all applications in Maximo. It allows the admin user to see where queries have been used on start centers and to see all queries created by users that may no longer be active. Let's get right into it. First, let's go to the Query Manager application. You can see here all of the different queries in all the different applications. We'll go over some of the ones in the Assets applications. Let's start off with this linked assets query in the asset application. I'm going to go ahead and modify this description here. And then I'm going to save this record. Now that query has been saved and can be viewed in the Assets application. Now let's take a look at this Servers query in the DPLD Assets application. I'm just going to uncheck this public flag here and save the record. Now what you may have noticed in the previous queries was that Mike Wilson was the owner of those queries. Now what if we modify one that Mike Wilson is not the owner of? I'm just gonna press this Edit Query button here. I can now modify this query as much as I like. But for this example, I'm just gonna check the public flag. Why don't we take a look at a query from a user that is in inactive status? When we try and delete the query, we get an error saying that only the creator of this query can delete this. Now this is because this application still follows the rules of the MBO in Maximo. I'm going to press this Edit Query button again. By unchecking this public checkbox, the users will no longer be able to see the query from the inactive user. Just as another quick example, I'm just going to filter the list view by the records that are not public. I'm just going to change the description here of the Wilson query, and then I'm going to save it. Now here's where things get interesting. You can modify queries that exist on start centers, which in this case, this is on Mike Wilson's start center. I'm going to go ahead now and go back to the list view. We can also do a download of all of the records that are here on the list view.
Here's an Excel spreadsheet of all the records I just downloaded from the list view using the query that we set earlier. I'm now going to save this Excel file in my downloads folder. I'm just going to call it private queries. Back on the list view, I'm just going to filter the list view by all of the queries that are public. I'm just going to scroll through here a little bit. And here we are at the plus G M O C pre act query here. I'm just going to press the edit query icon. Once again, by unchecking this public flag, all users are not going to be able to see this query. Only the user that created the query. BPD Zenith is always coming up with intuitive ways to assist with users and admins alike. This tool is extremely helpful for administrators that want to take control of the queries that their users use on a day-to-day -day basis.